What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. Oh my god, it's been a minute since I freaking said that, so it's time for the new intro. What's up, y'all? My name is Jennifer, but you can call me the Black Cuckoo May, and we are about to get into a reaction video. It's been a while since I've done a reaction, but I'm so excited to finally be back and doing these for you guys. The video that I am about to react to is called Nine Unique Features Only 1% of Humans Have. I already seen the thumbnail. It looks a little creepy. I don't like weird looking shit. So hopefully I'm not going to see anything that's not going to trigger me and freak me out. But without further ado, you guys, we're about to get into this video. I haven't said that in a really long time. We're about to get into this video. So without further ado, let's go. Hi, everyone. It's no secret that all people are different. We have different hair color, complexion, height, character, and more. But among seven and a half billion people on Earth, there is a very small number of truly unique people. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Oh, what? Today, we have prepared what the examples fuck? of incredible human body features for you. Ready to learn more about them? Let's get it on. What movie or show was that? <laughs> she had a whole Spiked snout. Tongue. The tongue is an organ found in almost all vertebrates. Okay, let's think about the most unusual tongues in the animal world. Which animal came to your mind? Certainly a snake with its split tongue, a blue whale's tongue weighing three tons, or an anteater who uses his sticky tongue for hunting insects. How can a human being possibly oh. top that? Well, some people oh. can. Just look at these spikes. What are they Ew. used for? Intimidating predators? Catching prey? As impressive as this feature looks, it is completely normal. The fact is that on both sides Ugh. of the lower part of the tongue, each of us has special areas of the mucous membrane, the so-called fimbriated folds or plica fimbriata. Some people may have horn-like triangular flaps on it. Usually there are only two of them, but some people have four or more pairs of these soft spikes. Okay, but what purpose do they serve? Scientists say these are residual tissues not completely absorbed by the body during the growth and development of the tongue. You can easily remove them if you want, but they look kind of cool, don't you think? Elf ears. What do Spock from Star Trek, Thranduil Will from the <laughs> Lord of the, the Rings, fuck? and the Greek mythological character Seder have in common? If you remember what they look like, you know the answer. Of course, they all have funny looking pointed ears. Oh, <laughs> in cinema, they use makeup or computer graphics to create this feature. After all, in the real world, there are no people with the elven ear. Although, wait a second, perhaps we're not quite right there. This anatomical anomaly does occur in humans, though it's extremely rare. It was called Stahl's ear, after the name of the scientist who first described it. This congenital deformation of the auricle causes extra cartilage fold in the scapha portion of the ear. This fold extends to the very edge of the ear, giving it an unusual pointed shape. We would love to know the reason for such a cute anomaly, but doctors still have no answer. The only clue is that this deformity is most common in identical twins. This deformity, better known as Vulcan ears, can be fixed easily and painlessly in infants. Meanwhile, some people do oracle surgery to look like it looks kind of cool on her, though, the black girl. Like, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I, it's a little weird looking, but it still looks kind of cool to me. I don't know why. Like Arwen or Legolas. Why is nature so unfair? Flexible people. At first glance, there's nothing unusual about this photo, just a man holding some stuff in his hand. But if you look closer, you might jump away from the screen in horror. You realize that the man is bending his palm in the opposite direction. Do not call an exorcist just yet. This guy is just one of the 10% of people around the world with hypermobility syndrome. This syndrome allows some or most of the joints in the body to bend in unnatural ways, scaring ordinary that people. Freaky. Wanna check if you are one of these flexible people? Then no. the time has come for a good stretch. We're going to do the Baton test. No, there won't be any boring questions. This test was designed to understand if you have signs of hypermobility, but don't try too hard. Stand up and lean forward. If you were able to place your palms on the I ground without that. bending your knees, you get one point. Did you manage to achieve a passive I know, I can't extension do that. of the I've elbows beyond 10 degrees? Two more points for you. The same I know someone who can do that though. It's crazy because I was gonna say like, I know someone who can freaking bend their arm like, like that like it's so weird amount of points for hyperextension of the knee above 10 degrees now be careful you need to grab your thumb and try to reach your forearm with it do you realize that the snapping sound is a bad sign people with hypermobility can do this trick with ease finally Ugh. bend the pinky finger backward at a 90 degree angle but don't push it if you scored less than four points you will not become a new plastic man however don't get too dog upset. Was looking people at a <laughs> hypermobility often suffer from pain and injuries extra fingers 
Now, those who love playing the guitar, raise your hands. Remember your most difficult solo? You certainly regretted having only five fingers on your hands. <laughs> However, those who do not make music also sometimes wish they had a couple of extra fingers. Texting would be so much faster and easier. It's not that well, serious. Well, we all had chances of getting such an anomaly, but extremely negligible. <laughs> Polydactyly <laughs> is a condition where someone is born with one or more extra fingers or toes. Most often, it manifests itself in the form of a small area of soft tissue near the pinky finger or just as a bone without joints. Fully developed extra fingers are incredibly rare. That's why this family is so surprising. Each of its members has six healthy fingers on their hands. Men are only happy about this. Catching a ball while playing football is much easier with an extra digit, but girls sometimes get upset. They have to pay a little more for a manicure. By the way, polydactyly is also often found in cats, dogs, and horses. When it comes to fluffy animals, a cat named Paws is a record holder. She has 28 toes instead of the usual 18. Unusual eyes. Whoa, if you carefully examine yourself from head to toe and decided that you are definitely not among those few unique people, we would say, don't jump to conclusions. Maybe you are special after all. Each of us saw cats, dogs, and a little less often, people with eyes of different <laughs> colors. For example, one is green and the other is blue. This is called a complete heterochromia, an unusual beautiful anomaly which is most often congenital. You can see the example in Alice Eve, an actress who featured in Black Mirror cool. and Men in Black 3. This anomaly occurs in infancy due to the uneven distribution of melanin. For some reason, one eye receives more of it than the other. No fair, but partial or sectoral heterochromia is an even rarer condition. The name speaks for itself. In this case, part of one Ooh. iris is a different color from its remainder. The exact number of people with this anomaly is unknown. Rough estimates say that less than 1% of the population has it. Okay, you might say, I've seen myself in the mirror a million times and I know for sure that I have neither complete nor sectoral heterochromia. Try looking in the mirror again. It is possible that you have a third type of this unusual phenomenon, central heterochromia. Do you see several differently colored rings on the iris around the pupil? That's it. Shark people. It is a law of nature that a person should normally have from 28 to 32 teeth, and a great white shark, up to 300, arranged into several rows. But it seems like sometimes there is a glitch in the universe that causes a pathology you are now seeing on the screen yeah. to appear. The oh. phenomenon when a person oh. has extra tooth buds is called hyperdontia. It affects about 5% of the people on the planet. Mm. Of course, even they don't have as many teeth as sea predators. About three quarters of dental patients who suffer from this disease have only one accessory tooth, and only a quarter have two or more. However, in 2014, an incredible record was documented. Indian doctors removed 232 extra teeth from a teenager's mouth. Naturally, if they were of normal size, they would have never fit. In most cases of hyperdontia, small spiky growths appear in the mouth. But even like that, That's they so are uncomfortable freaky. to live with as they push out the healthy teeth. However, hyperdontia has one significant advantage. You can get additional coins from the tooth fairy. Insensitivity he threw the dollar on the pillow. Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, pal. <laughs> The next person in our selection will be especially interesting to those who have just burned themselves with tea or hit their knee on the table while crossing their legs. Meet Jo Cameron, a retired woman from England who doesn't feel pain. Yes, at all. She can easily hold her hand in a cup full of ice or eat hot pepper. <laughs> The woman discovered her amazing ability by accident at the age of 65. After a major operation on her arm, doctors were going to prescribe her strong painkillers. But Cameron surprised the entire hospital staff by saying that they were not necessary. Anesthesiists suspected something was wrong and sent the pensioner to geneticists at Oxford University. There, it turned out that Joe is one of the two people in the world with a rare mutation that blocks pain signals, as well as feelings of anxiety and fear. However, you definitely should not envy the woman. This anomaly is very difficult for her in everyday life. She often gets serious burns from the oven and did not notice her arthritis in time, which caused her a hip joint. Heart outside. Whoa. Anatomical anomalies are not always harmless. Unfortunately, sometimes children are accidentally born with features that can threaten their lives. Just in case, we want to warn you, if you are too sensitive, you should skip the next story. Arpit Goli from India looks like an ordinary guy until you take his shirt off. Oh. 
The brain refuses to process what the eyes see. The guy's heart is beating outside his chest. You can literally touch it with your hand. One of the most important organs in Arpit's body is protected only by a thin layer of skin. This dangerous state is caused by an incredibly rare congenital disease, pentology of Cantrell, or ecoptic heart. This pathology is diagnosed in only five newborns per million, and most children with it die in the first year of life. The same fate was predicted for Goalie, only he, apparently, was not going to give up so easily. Nowadays, the guy takes all measures to protect his health, because any injury can mean death for him. But at the same time, he does not hide in fear at home and lives like an ordinary person. See, I was gonna say, like, he just said that any injury means death. Like, the skin over it looks so thin. Like, it looks super duper thin. He works in agriculture and even drives a tractor. You've got to agree, our bit is pretty cool. Let's wish him good luck. Dolphin Eyesight some outstanding body features can be acquired as a result of regular practice, and we got an example for you. What? Did you ever try opening your eyes underwater as a child? We're sure they must be still stinging just when you think of it. We all tried no. to find the fish or pirate treasures problem. at the bottom, but the picture was so blurry that we had to give it up. How do the children of the Mokin people, also called sea nomads, can see underwater then? They not only swim with their eyes open in the waters of the Andaman Sea, but also hunt fish, sea cucumbers, and shellfish. It's obvious that they can see quite clearly underwater. Maybe at some special lenses? Of course not. Locals don't know of any such technologies. The secret is extremely simple. A lot of training. Babies have to get food every day, and gradually, their eyes adapt to the new conditions. As scientists have found out, they can narrow their pupils to the minimum size available to humans, and the lens of their eyes change shape underwater. Dolphins have a similar mechanism. That's one more hint from nature that we are well connected. Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real- It's kind of crazy because I can see underwater pretty good too, so I guess I'm like one of the one percent. I don't know. <laughs> But that was my reaction to this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye!